Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite reusable items. Um, they help me live more green and save the planet and make my home more beautiful. Let's get to it. So the first thing I absolutely cannot live without are my reusable grocery bags. I keep them in my trunk in my car and bring them with me into every grocery store and I even bring them into Subway if I want to go and get a sub instead of using their little plastic bag, I bring my own. And not only do I use my reusable grocery bags for groceries, but if I ever need a bag for some reason, maybe I'm going to the beach or to a friend's house or my mom's and I need to bring stuff with me, I just grab a reusable bag. I have a bunch of them. They're really heavy duty and good quality. So yeah, I just have extra bags if I ever need them. They're also really cute. There's so many different kinds you can find out there. And another thing you can use reusable grocery bags for are gift bags. Instead of putting a friend's gift in a paper bag or wrapping it, you can get them a reusable grocery bag and put it in there so that can also be part of the gift. I've done it a few times, works like a charm. The next reusable item that I absolutely love are glass jars. And I typically just repurpose these from like pickle jars or pasta sauce jars, but I clean them out really well. And sometimes if it has a strong smell like the pickle jars, I'll just leave the lid off for a couple days and it gets rid of the smell after washing it. And then I can store all of the delicious bulk food that I get in the glass jars. It looks really nice and it feels nice knowing that I'm not just recycling it or throwing something away but I'm reusing it and it actually is serving a purpose in my home and it makes my pantry actually look a lot neater than having like different plastic containers or just like Ziploc bags everywhere. You know, I have these really nice, pretty glass jars and they're holding beautiful foods in them. This one to me is just a no brainer. A sandwich box for your sandwich that you bring to lunch, that you bring to school, maybe you pack a sandwich for your kids when they go to school. Instead of using a Ziploc bag or a sandwich bag every time you make a sandwich, if you have a reusable lunch box, not only are you preventing waste, but you're keeping your sandwich intact. I love to use reusable napkins. and. Cloth napkins don't appeal to many people. They don't even appeal to me, really. It feels like you're wiping your dirty, grimy hands on like a t-shirt. That's just not right. So I came across this by accident. I bought a shower curtain and it's a waffle knit cotton material and I needed to wash it. I forgot it was 100% cotton, so I dried it. Well, it shrunk a lot. It was way too small for the shower anymore. So I thought, what in the world could I reuse this for? I really don't want to just throw this huge piece of fabric away. That seems super wasteful. So I thought, okay, well, the texture of it is really nice. It's very, it's just really textured. It feels kind of like a paper towel. So I cut the shower curtain up and sewed around the edges. And now I fold them and roll them up and keep them on my kitchen table in a tin. So whenever I need a napkin for say my lunchbox or just while I'm eating, I have a reusable napkin and then I just wash it with the rest of my white towels. And I'm preventing so much waste and saving actually a lot of money by not having to go buy paper towels all the time. Rubber bands are the next thing that I keep. Sometimes when I buy produce like asparagus, there will be a rubber band wrapped around it to hold the bunch together. So instead of just throwing away the rubber band, I'll keep it in my drawer in the kitchen that I have all my other rubber bands in. And so if I ever have like a bag of frozen, say broccoli or something, and I don't want it to spill everywhere, I just kind of fold the bag over, maybe like roll it up, and then I just wrap a rubber band around it. 
And since I'm buying fresh produce all the time, you know, I am getting a bunch of rubber bands that I can use and that's a perfect way to put them to use. This won't apply to everybody, but something else that I do reuse is my newspaper. I have a little finch and I keep our newspapers to line the, the bottom tray that his poop falls into, basically. Most of it I do recycle because he really doesn't need it, so I don't keep every newspaper, but newspaper is a great thing to keep on hand. Dryer balls. I have two little hedgehog dryer balls. They're plastic, and they're supposed to help your laundry dry faster and use a little bit less energy to dry them. Um, they do make wool dryer balls, and I do not support that because I don't support the consumption of wool. There are other alternatives to wool dryer balls, just so you know. I don't know how, I almost forgot about this one. Reusable water bottles! They are my favorite. This one is Edgar's, this one is mine. It says water on the front. They're from Liberty Bottle Works and they are made out of recycled aluminum coils. Something like that. They have a bunch of different like um, lids and stuff that you can get for them. Some that have straws. I bring my reusable water bottle with me everywhere I go. I bring it to work with me. I bring it to yoga. Even if I'm just going to the store, I literally bring my water bottle. I have never put anything but water in this thing and I've had it for like over a year, I think. Um, it's really nice. It just reminds me to drink water. Like that is the most important thing that I need to be putting into my body. And last but not least, this one is for all the females watching. I would suggest trying out a menstrual cup. I would show you mine, but I'm currently using it. I'm not even afraid to admit it. I recently bought the Schoon Cup on Amazon after watching a review on it, and I thought might as well give it a try. It seems a lot more environmentally friendly and cheaper in the long run. They typically last up to two years. I've heard and read on like the instruction kind of packet thing. So if I don't have to buy tampons for two years, I can just imagine how much money I'm gonna save. It was only like, like 40-ish dollars or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but I would check it out. There's so many different kinds out there. Just kind of do your research and you might have to try a couple different ones because every woman is different. So yeah, that's the final one. And go get yourself a menstrual cup. You might thank yourself. And you might thank me. You're welcome. I love to have reusable items that are in my home and that I carry with me places because not only is it better for the environment because I'm reducing my waste and my carbon footprint because I'm not, you know, creating a demand for disposable products, but it also sends a really positive message when you bring like your reusable grocery bags to the store and people see your cart full of these colorful bags or these really like heavy duty natural material bags and when you're carrying around your water bottle, it kind of subconsciously sends a message. It's almost like a form of advertisement, but a really positive form of advertisement. You know, it's really telling people that it's not difficult to be green. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to hear about any reusable items that you guys use and that you totally love. Um, go ahead and let me know those things down in the comments box below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share with friends and family, and please don't forget, subscribe. See you next time.